Hello, and welcome to another episode of Math with Dr. War. Today's lesson is going to be on the zero exponent. Now, if you have a base raised to an exponent of zero, then the result would be one. So I have a couple of examples here at the top. I have a, which is my base, raised to the exponent zero. So the answer is one. Again, any base raised to the zero power. So here my base is 100 and my exponent is zero. So the solution is one. Sometimes they include the zero exponent with other terms. So here I have 5xyz raised to the zero. Now the only person here that's raised to the zero exponent is the z. The operation between the 5, the x, the y, and the z to the zero is multiplication. So I would have 5xy, and then the z to the zero is 1, and we know 1 times 5xy is just 5xy. In this example here, notice that the 5xyz is in parentheses, and then outside of the parentheses, you have the exponent of 0. Basically, what that means is that everyone inside of the parentheses is going to receive the exponent of 0. So you have 5 to the 0, the x is raised to the 0, the y is raised to the 0, and the z is raised to the 0, which means this has a value of 1 times 1 times 1 times 1. When you multiply all of those ones, your answer is 1. So basically, because you have the parentheses and the exponent of zeros on the outside, it means your answer is 1. So let's try some examples. I have n raised to the 0. So my base is n. My exponent is 0. So my answer is 1. 3x, and all of that is raised to the 0. This is similar to the 5xyz raised to the 0. Since all of this is in the parentheses, again, anything raised to the 0 power is 1. Here I have 5y to the 0. So got to be very careful here. Um, look to see who's raised to the 0 power. It is the y. So that has a value of 1. And then when that multiplies the 5, your answer is 5 times 1 is 5. Number 4, I have negative 8a to the 0. Again, pay attention to who is raised to 0. The a, so that has a value of 1. You're going to multiply by the negative 8. Negative 8 times 1, so your answer is negative 8. Now number 5, I notice I see the parentheses and then the exponent is 0. So I know that my answer will be a 1. I have a to the 0 plus b to the 0. Now a to the 0 has a value of 1 plus b to the 0 has a value of 1. But remember we're adding. So 1 plus 1 is 2. So these are some of the type of problems you will see with the zero exponents. Also, with the zero exponents, you can also use the product rule. You can also have the quotient rule and the power rule. I have y to the third times y to the negative three. So I'm multiplying. And the rule states that when the bases match, you keep the base and you add the exponent. So I'm going to add three plus negative three. Now, when we're adding integers and the signs are different, we subtract. So 3 minus 3 is 0. So this is y to the 0, which means my answer is 1. Because any base raised to the 0 power has a value of 1. Here, I have the power rule. So I have a base a raised to a power of 0 and then raised to a power of 4. And the rule states a base raised to a power raised to another power you keep the base and you multiply the exponents. So that's 0 times 4. We all know that 0 times 4 is 0. So a to the 0 is 1. Here's the quotient rule. So I'm dividing 9 raised to the 5th divided by 9 raised to the 5th. The rule states that when the bases match, you keep the base and you subtract. So 5 minus 5. That's 9 raised to the 0. And again, any base that is raised to the 0 power 
is 1. So these are some examples of the zero exponents. I hope this lesson has been helpful. Good luck on your task examination.